makes nonsense. Nonsense till it makes sense. Okay, today is actually kind of an exciting day because Janice is coming over, which doesn't seem too out of the norm because if you guys have watched any of my previous vlogs you know that she comes over all the time to work and hang out but what is significant about today is that this is the first time that i've had anyone um outside of my family and joel come over to my place since lockdown and quarantine and I just can't believe the day is finally here. I just feel like we've been in lockdown for so long. And I know that we already are in stage one and we're allowed to have people over, but, um, and I mean, I have seen Janice just at, uh, when I like go see our clients and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. It just feels like a monumental day and I am excited to have her in my space again. Um, yeah, but we are pretty much just having a work day today just because we have a ton of client work to get through, like seriously a ton. Um, and then we're just planning to have some lunch together. Initially we thought about maybe having lunch outside, but from the way it looks, it's pretty cloudy outside. So I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, um, what else is there to say? I've been working on a lot of projects just like projects 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 on projects on projects and it's a good thing because i'm totally the type of person that when i have a lot of stuff going on i'm more productive and then when i don't have a lot of stuff going on and i'm just like kind of chilling out um i feel really stressed out so yeah i actually just spent like an hour this morning cleaning my entire apartment because it was getting really really bad and I think I finally snapped. Also, I'm like a little exhausted because I've been sleeping at around 1 a.m. every night for the past, like this week, um, which is crazy for me. Like if you know me, you know that I never sleep late and 1 a.m. is like wild in for me. But I've been, yeah, I've been sleeping at 1 a.m. just because I've been trying to get through the rest of the mask orders. And waking up still at my usual time which is around 6 6 30 um and there have been days where i just went back to sleep and i was like fuck this like i can't do it and then like today and yesterday i just couldn't go back to sleep i just woke up 6 30 exhausted exhausted right like exhausted <laughs> and right away my brain just was like all right kick into full gear let's think about all of the things you need to accomplish today oh wait look at how dirty your apartment is let's fucking clean up right now 6 30 let's go so yeah that's what i've been doing hence why i don't usually drink coffee this early in the morning but this week i've been drinking coffee at like eight because it's needed all right i'm gonna start work now because there's actually tons of stuff i need to get done work wise like work work like nine to five work um before I can even think about client work today. So that is what we're going to work on um, until I get that done. Yeah, just until I get that done. That was the end of that thought. All right, I will probably see you guys when Janice is here, um, unless something crazy and interesting happens in the next two hours. See you when she's here. These are beautiful molecules. Human hands should never touch. Yeah, right. When in fact, they are just molecules right. that will probably have significant therapeutic value once we do the proper research. Yes. And I'm really excited about it. Love to eat. If you need to learn to be on lazy. Hello.
Good morning. It is a very rainy Tuesday. Um, I've got so much work to do today. I have been struggling a little bit. I will not lie. I just feel like the past, I don't know how long, a couple weeks. Um, I've been on the brink of this weird limbo between exhaustion and a bit of burnout, but like also just a slump. I don't know. It's like I don't feel like I'm quite there yet because I'm still able to pull myself up every day and get what I need to get done done but it just doesn't feel great like I just feel like I'm I don't know I don't know what it is exactly I tried to journal about it a bit yesterday um but I kind of even got distracted in my journaling talking about some other things that I've been thinking about so yeah that's kind of where my life is right now I'm trying to break down the sugar in my coffee I couldn't find creamer anywhere um, so I actually bought this Taiwanese brown sugar uh, they're like just brown sugar cubes um, for I don't know something anything that I want to do try so I thought I would try it in my coffee today but I just feel like my coffee probably wasn't hot enough because those sugar pieces aren't melting. My day is kind of looking like a lot of work work. I got a bunch of notes from um, a call that I had yesterday with my, oh my God, I have a call in like 30 minutes. Almost forgot about that. So yeah, I had a call with my boss yesterday to go over some of the pages that I've been working on for our website and um, pretty much here are the notes that I need to make edits to. So that's what I'm gonna be working on in the morning. I actually have a 9 a.m. call with um, a new potential client. He's actually a client of one of my friends, Garrett, who was actually, he's kind of Garrett, I see Garrett as kind of a mentor. He worked with me at my current job um, before and he was the creative director when I was the coordinator. Anyways, Garrett has a freelancing client that he needs some help with. Um, some social media stuff so I'm going to have a little zoom call with them and see how or like what he needs help with um, yeah and then pretty much continuing on this website work I've got some social media work for my job as well and then what else do I have to do today there's just like some kind of outstanding bits and pieces that I'm constantly working on, like editing blog posts, planning June content, planning July content potentially. Um, um, there's another page that I need to work on as well. And then more so on the personal side, I've got just like a bunch of bits and pieces projects to do. Plus, I need to film like three videos, like three YouTube videos. So yeah we'll see how much i get done today i'm just feeling super i don't know i know usually i like snap out of it but i don't know every morning that i've woken up this week so far which was yesterday morning and this morning i've been so sleepy and out of it and it always takes me like a bit of time just to get back into it so yeah I'm gonna try my best now. Mm -hmm. So sorry, you said that it wasn't posting to Facebook, right? Is it not posting through Facebook even with the tools? So it's about 12.30 now, which means it's my lunch break, AKA it's time to do some filming. So I have this haul that I have to film for Jing. You guys have seen um, them on my channel before. I've done a spring um haul with them and yeah they just sent me some more cute items for me to style and film um so i just need to kind of put together the outfits that i think this will go well with this is kind of like the planning portion of my 
video, I guess. Um, so I've had this skirt. I'm also like in the process of just making some instant noodles for lunch because your girl can't be bothered to like make real food for lunch. This would be cute with just like shorts. I'm thinking a lot of the outfits will just be like shorts like this. So that's one. And then I think this can actually be paired with like a pair of trousers it would be cute. Also, you'll know that I'm at my laziest when... Ooh. Got kind of foggy there. But you know I'm at my laziest when I don't even cook my instant noodles. I literally just microwave them in the water. That is truly like the peak laziness for me. But sometimes it's honestly not even about being lazy. It's like about saving time and not having to do the extra step and have dishes and all that. So that's where I am at right now. In pretty simple stuff. It's really gloomy outside today, which means I'm probably going to have to set up my box light for this um, video because I usually kind of use my living space like my living room for filming videos like videos where you have to see my outfit because it's just there's definitely not enough room in my room for that um, especially ever since I got my desk there just isn't like the lot the room isn't long enough essentially so yeah I'm gonna set it up Kind of in the same position that I set up my last Jing video, which you guys, which if you guys haven't seen, I'm gonna link it in the description box for you guys. But I'm gonna set it up like that, except that I'm gonna have good lighting because I definitely didn't really even have good lighting for that one. And I mean, I own those softbox lights, so I might as well put them to use. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling my makeup today, even though it's the same makeup that I do every day, but. I don't know, I just feel like some days it looks better than the other. So I think I'm actually going to just quickly eat my lunch before I start filming. Um, Cause eating really only takes me like under 10 minutes, so. That still gives me tons of time to film. I was feeling super tired when I got home yesterday, so I didn't really vlog after we viewed the places. Um, but I'll chat a little bit more about that when I get into the car. But last night while I was working, my computer just like died. Um, I was able to turn it back on like after, but yeah, it just it just kind of died on me. It there I feel like there's been battery issues for the past little while. But yesterday, like, it was just giving me such a headache, so I'm bringing it into Simply Computing today, because I that's where our work got our computers. So yeah, I'm gonna bring it to bring it into them, um, see what the issue is, and hopefully they won't have to keep it for too long to get it fixed. I'm pretty sure it's the battery issue, but obviously I want them to uh, like evaluate it and like let me know if that if they think that's the issue, if like it could be something else. Um, but yeah, that's what I am going to do right now. Um, it's about like 9.30, so they would have just opened, I believe. And yeah, fingers crossed. All right, so. The two apartments that I went, that we went to go see last night were really beautiful. Um, one of them was in an older building, um, but it had like the most amazing view ever. 
uh, we really loved the view but the price range like the price was a little high for what we were looking for and the building is definitely like a little older than what we were hoping for um, yeah it just wasn't exactly the right fit the second place we really really loved like we really loved the layout um, the size was great there were a couple problems though that we that we realized was one um, the because it's on like a lower floor like I think it was on the fourth floor uh, it was like right next to this office building and this other residential building it seemed like people were easily like could easily just look into our apartment um so like our living room was directly facing the windows of several offices oh that is bright Sorry. but yeah they were looking directly into some of those offices which means the offices could directly look into our living room so that wasn't ideal um we decided to let it go even though it was probably the most perfect one that we've seen so far um but it just wasn't right like it wasn't perfect and like i've said before i really don't want to be hasty and rush this process oh my god what is this lady doing um so yeah we've decided i texted the uh, landlord this morning letting her know that we are taking a pass on her apartment she actually had some applicants already but she was looking she was really interested in us because we are two sisters rather than two roommates which means it's more likely that we're going to be there for a while and we won't have like you know roomy issues um so yeah anywho i mean it's totally fine like i am really not in a huge hurry to move i thought maybe i would just look um and see if there are good places right now um i will say the housing market is wow that is so dark the housing market is lower right now than usual like the rent is um quite a bit lower or like a little bit lower it's not quite a bit lower it's a little bit lower than what it uh could be so i thought i would take that opportunity to just look around and see whether there are good opportunities and although the rent has been cheaper i haven't been able to find like the perfect place yet so yeah again like i'm in no hurry um if i have to wait and if the like rent goes up later on and i still have to wait then that's just how it's going to be so I'm back from Simply Computing. Um, I got a loaner from them. Uh, since we are on a business leasing plan with them, um, they were able to offer us a loaner, or offer me a loaner, which is great. So they took my computer. We weren't able to replicate the issue uh, then and there. So I'm like, not really sure what's going on. But at least, I was able to get a loaner so I don't have to worry about um, being computerless for the next couple days. I just got back home. I'm charging up the loaner computer they gave me because it currently is um, out of batteries. And yeah, I'm making myself some lunch because it's 11.30 now and I'm going to make myself some coffee because I haven't had any yet. And it's going to be what I'm going to be doing for the next. 20 30 minutes so it is like far into the next day already i did not do a good job vlogging today but i am starting now and that's all that matters plus i feel like this week-long vlog is already so long so i'm not too worried about it but i thought i would unpack this with you guys i finally invested in a dymo label writer this is the dymo 4 xl um and i needed to specifically buy the dymo 4 xl hi joel hi. <laughs> wow is that 
Oh, there's like something dirty on my lip. I specifically need to get the 4XL because this is their printer that prints four by six shipping labels. Um, so yeah, I got this because it's honestly just a huge waste of paper and ink when you print Canada Post labels um, on just like a regular printer and printer paper because the label itself, like even when you print from their Snapshot system, the label itself takes up like half of a 8 by 11 8 by eight and a half by 11 eight and a half by 11 printer sheet that's like the standard printer sheet so yeah it takes up half of that and then the other half is like some other information which isn't necessary for the actual shipment it's like they even have a dotted line that says cut in half and then when you print out um the labels from their actual like windows shipping tool it comes out in like a four by six size so imagine that on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. It's honestly just a huge waste. Um, plus then I also have to put that piece of, like fold that piece of paper or cut that piece of paper and then put it inside of one of their shipping um, like label things, like which is just like a little sticky envelope. So it kind of just seems like this is a more eco-friendly and price friendly option because printer ink ain't cheap y'all and i definitely spent at least like two of my black refills on just printing these printing labels so yeah i finally went and picked up my own shipping label printer and yeah i'm excited to set it up but right now i'm actually going out to take a walk with Joel um well I need to go to business now which is a printing service in like kind of closer to Kit's side and yeah it's just like a gorgeous day outside so I don't want to like drive there and then end up having to park there and it's just kind of annoying I'd rather us just take a really nice little walk and I'm really actually quite excited about it because I haven't gone for a walk in god knows who long so God knows who long. Jesus, my English really truly is just diminishing like day by day. God knows how long. Um, yeah. I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm just waiting for Joel. I'm just waiting for him like per usual. And uh, yeah. Just kidding, I love it.